Hi, my name is Leah Mebbin, and I'm the founder of Earth Paints and also a professional oil painter. And today I wanted to talk about how to create really high quality, professional and beautiful oil paintings without using any toxins at all, no solvents, and only all natural materials. The process is actually very ancient and has been in use for many, many centuries, at least 100,000 years. And not until very recently have we started adding preservatives and petroleum-based uh, pigments and heavy metal toxins and fillers to the paints that we buy in a store. And we've also started adding solvents like turpentine and mineral spirits. The most earth-friendly and non-toxic and high-quality paint that you could make is actually simply natural earth pigment and walnut oil. This is an example of some ground-up pigment that's just simply collected from the ground, pulverized and sifted and sieved into a really fine powder. And this is exactly what all of the old masters used to make their own paint. Just pigment and oil, no need for preservatives or anything toxic. Not only are earth pigments the most archival of all pigments, but they're also not affected by sunlight or temperature or humidity. And the interesting thing about earth pigments is the particles are larger and more irregular in size than synthetically made pigments, so light can pass through them in a much more interesting way and bounce off the different edges of the irregular particles, and light just illuminates from your painting. It's a, it's a much more unique luminous glow that you get with natural pigments. For centuries, artists have suffered from the toxic fumes of solvents used in the oil painting process. And I was no different. And when I became pregnant with my first child, I knew that I had to detoxify my studio immediately. So after a lot of trial and error, I did a lot of research and rediscovered these natural techniques that were used by our ancestors. A few years after discovering these techniques, I decided to spread the word to artists everywhere, and I created a professional grade natural earth oil painting kit with a detailed booklet with instructions on all of these non-toxic techniques. And I wanted to make this an affordable paint kit for artists, so I've included the equivalent of six tubes of oil paint for $39.95. So it's a really good deal. And I have six colors. We have red earth, orange ochre, yellow ochre, burnt umber, green earth, and an ultramarine blue earth and an instructional booklet with all of these techniques I'm describing and a bottle of refined walnut oil. And the reason I use walnut oil instead of linseed oil is because linseed oil tends to yellow your painting over time and walnut oil is a little bit more high quality. So to mix the paint, you just scoop out some earth pigment, use a little bit of red earth, you can use a spoon or anything, call it nice. And then I usually make a little indentation in the middle and pour in a little bit of walnut oil. A few drops. And then you just mix it up. And you want to keep mixing until it makes a smooth paste, just like with what would come out of a paint tube. And you might need to add more oil or more pigment, so you can just see as you mix it up what you need to add. And while I'm mixing this, I'll tell you about um, if you want your paints to dry a little faster, one thing that you can always add is walnut alkyd medium. You can either mix this in with your medium right here, or you can pour it directly into the paint. I usually mix it in with the medium, but I'll just right here. This is also a natural product from M. Graham, and they're a great company. And I'm just going to mix it up until it makes a little bit more of a paste. And another option is to use a glass muller, which can uh, work a little bit better to coat every single particle of pigment with oil. I usually just use the palette knife, but the glass muller just makes extra sure that every single particle is completely coated. So to use the glass muller, you just 
rub over on top of it, scrape it off, and then rub a little bit more. So the oil paint is just about finished, and I'm going to add it to the painting now. People commonly use turpentine or linseed oil mixed with turpentine or other toxic things, maybe demar varnish, to make your medium to thin your paint. But what Rembrandt and all of those guys used was actually just plain walnut oil, nothing else. So that's what I'm using, and I'm going to dip my brush in the walnut oil just to thin it a little bit. And then I'll try brushing it on the canvas. So it's a really nice, flowy, thick paint. And you can paint it on any surface that oil paints are used on, wood, canvas, any primed surface. And you can mix these earth paints with any tube paints that you already have, so you wouldn't have to throw out any paint. You can just combine these just like any other oil paint. Another typical use of turpentine or solvents is to swish out your brush in there to clean the brush to change colors to switch to another color. So the way I do this without turpentine is I use a lot of rags and I wipe off as much excess paint as possible first. And then I have a separate jar of walnut oil, not the jar that I used as my medium, but a separate one just for this purpose of cleaning the brush between colors. And walnut oil is what all of you know humanity has used to clean oil paint off for centuries. We didn't need any turpentine at all. So you can just swish it around and then wipe it off again. And now you can switch to another color. So another common use of turpentine is to clean your brushes at the end of your painting session. And since walnut oil is a little bit more expensive, I've found another product, Murphy's Oil Soap, that you can get at your local hardware store, and it's a natural product, and it's a lot more affordable. And what I do is I pour a little bit of the Murphy's Oil Soap in a glass jar, I swish my brush around there to get the paint off, and then I rinse it in water, and then I wash my brush with a little bit of soap and water. And it works really great. It's a wonderful product and you don't need any turpentine at all. And if you have any oil paint on your hands or your skin, I just use Master's Hand Soap, which you can get in any art supply store and it gets any oil paint off your skin. So I hope you have a lot of fun painting in a completely eco-friendly way. And um, one thing I wanted to point out is that with the earth pigments that are in the earth oil paint kit, you can make many other different types of paint. You can make earth watercolors and wood stains and egg tempera, earth paint. So all of these recipes just depend on adding a different binder to these pigments. And all the recipes are on my website, which is naturalearthpaint.com. And there's lots more research, resources and articles and many more things on there. Thanks.